If you've seen disaster movies like The Day After Tomorrow or 2012, you know how nature's mysterious signals can spark both awe and terror. Enter the Doomsday Fish, a real-life creature steeped in both science and myth, whose recent appearances along California's coastline have ignited similar feelings. Known for their serpentine bodies, which can stretch up to 30 feet, these rare deep-sea giants have long been intertwined with folklore, earning names like Ryugu no Tsukai, or Messengers from the Sea God's Palace in Japanese culture. Often linked to impending earthquakes or tsunamis, they became a global fascination after multiple sightings coincided with Japan's catastrophic 2011 earthquake. Scientists, however, suggest that changing ocean conditions or ecological shifts may explain these strandings rather than supernatural warnings. In this video, we'll dive into the haunting history, scientific mysteries, and cultural lore surrounding the doomsday fish to uncover why their appearances continue to inspire both fear and intrigue. The Mythical Harbinger of Doom The legend of the doomsday fish has captivated imaginations for centuries, with its origins deeply rooted in Japanese folklore. In ancient times, rare sightings of the oarfish near the surface or washed ashore were considered supernatural warnings of impending disasters. These mysterious creatures, known as Ryugu no Tsukai, or messengers from the sea god's palace, were believed to carry messages from the sea god Rujin, who ruled over oceanic phenomena. Their appearances were thought to herald earthquakes, tsunamis, or other catastrophic events, reflecting humanity's enduring quest to interpret natural anomalies as omens of larger forces at work. This cultural narrative illustrates the human tendency to connect extraordinary occurrences in nature to impending calamities, highlighting the oarfish as a symbolic link between the ocean's mysterious depths and the terrestrial world. This belief gained renewed attention in the modern era, particularly following the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. In the months leading up to this devastating disaster, which claimed thousands of lives, multiple oarfish were reportedly found washed ashore in Japan. Although scientists remained skeptical about any causal relationship between these strandings and seismic activity, the timing fueled widespread speculation and reinforced the oarfish's reputation as a harbinger of doom. For many, the connection between the oarfish and the earthquake served as a chilling example of nature's cryptic warning. While the scientific community dismisses these claims as coincidental, the event revived age-old myths and gave them a contemporary context, cementing the oarfish's place in both folklore and modern cultural narratives. Beyond Japan, similar associations exist in other parts of the world, where oarfish have inspired myths of sea monsters and supernatural omens. Their long, ribbon-like bodies and shimmering silver scales evoke a sense of otherworldliness, further blurring the line between reality and legend. In some maritime cultures, these creatures have been linked to tales of ghostly beings or harbingers of storms, adding a layer of fear and mystique to their appearances. These stories, passed down through generations, reflect humanity's deep fascination with the sea and the creatures that inhabit it. These creatures, rarely seen alive and often washing up in mysterious circumstances, embody the vast, unexplored mysteries of the deep ocean. Their enigmatic presence serves as a reminder of how much remains unknown about our planet's oceans. Even as science advances, the oarfish continues to elude complete understanding, keeping its place in the realm of myth and speculation. Their elusive nature, coupled with their ghostly, otherworldly appearance, ensures that they remain one of the most fascinating and enduring symbols of the ocean's mystique. These myths and legends remind us that some stories, no matter how ancient, never truly fade away, but adapt and find new life in modern contexts. The Science Behind the Strandings While folklore paints the oarfish as an omen of disaster, scientists approach these strandings with a different perspective, seeking tangible explanations rooted in biology and environmental science. Oarfish are deep-sea dwellers, inhabiting depths between 700 and 3,000 feet, far removed from human observation. Their reclusive nature makes sightings rare. And when they do appear near the surface or wash ashore, it often signifies an unusual event. Marine biologists have long studied the conditions that might drive these creatures from their deep-sea homes. One prevailing theory is that changes in oceanic conditions, such as temperature fluctuations caused by El Nino and La Nina cycles, could disrupt their habitats. These climate patterns can alter water temperatures, currents, and prey availability 
potentially forcing oarfish closer to the surface in search of suitable conditions. Other environmental factors such as red tides, blooms of algae that can deplete oxygen in the water, and strong winds may also contribute to their disorientation and strandings. In Southern California, where three oarfish have washed ashore recently, scientists have noted the coincidental occurrence of Santa Ana winds and a red tide event. These phenomena may act as stressors, pushing already vulnerable oarfish into shallow waters. Some researchers speculate that these fish rise to the surface when they are sick or dying, carried by currents, until they eventually strand on beaches. Despite the lack of concrete answers, each new stranding offers a rare opportunity for researchers to gather data and deepen their understanding of this elusive species. The strandings highlight the complex interplay of factors at work in marine ecosystems. Unlike the simplicity of folklore, the scientific narrative acknowledges that multiple variables, including environmental changes, biological stressors, and human activity, likely contribute to the phenomenon. This complexity makes every oarfish sighting a valuable case study, reminding us of the intricate dynamics of life in the ocean's depth. A Rare and Mysterious Species as the longest bony fish in the world, the oarfish is a marvel of nature. Some specimens have been recorded at lengths of up to 30 feet, their sinuous bodies earning them comparisons to mythical sea serpents. Yet, despite their impressive size, oarfish remain one of the least understood creatures of the ocean. Their natural habitat lies in the mesopelagic and bathypelagic zones, regions of the ocean where sunlight barely penetrates and where pressures are extreme. These conditions, while perfectly suited to the oarfish's adaptations, present significant challenges for scientific observation. Oarfish are primarily planktonic feeders, using their specialized mouths to vacuum up krill and other small organisms. Their feeding habits and slow, undulating movements, observed in rare footage captured by deep-sea cameras, suggest a highly efficient predator well adapted to its environment. Vertical swimming, a behavior commonly seen in live oarfish, may serve as a hunting strategy, allowing them to silhouette prey against the faint light above. Despite these glimpses into their behavior, much about the oarfish remains shrouded in mystery. Scientists know little about their reproductive habits, lifespan, or migration patterns. Strandings provide crucial opportunities to study their anatomy and biology up close, contributing to our understanding of life in the deep ocean. Specimens preserved in institutions like the Scripps Institution of Oceanography's Marine Vertebrate Collection help researchers unravel the secrets of these enigmatic creatures piece by piece. The oarfish's rarity adds to its allure. Encounters with live oarfish are so infrequent that even marine biologists consider them extraordinary events. This rarity, combined with their unique appearance and mysterious habits, has cemented their status as one of the ocean's most fascinating inhabitants. They remind us of the vast, largely unexplored world that lies beneath the waves, a realm still full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Why the oarfish fascinates us. The oarfish is more than just a biological curiosity. It is a symbol of humanity's enduring fascination with the unknown. Its reputation as a doomsday fish taps into a deep-seated need to find meaning in the natural world, especially in phenomena that defy easy explanation. Stories of omens and portents resonate across cultures and generations, reflecting our desire to connect the dots between nature's mysteries and our own lives. Part of the oarfish's allure lies in its sheer otherworldliness. Its elongated, ribbon-like body, combined with its shimmering scales and ghostly movements, makes it appear almost supernatural. These characteristics have inspired countless legends, from sea serpents to mythical messengers of doom. The idea that such a creature could exist, hidden in the ocean's depths, reinforces the sense of wonder and fear that has always accompanied humanity's relationship with the sea. Modern science has added another layer to this fascination as researchers attempt to demystify the oarfish while preserving its enigmatic charm. Advances in deep-sea exploration have provided glimpses into their lives, yet much remains unknown. Questions about their migration, communication, and ecological role continue to puzzle scientists. Each new discovery, while illuminating, seems to raise more questions than it answers. At the same time, the oarfish's rarity and elusive nature ensure that it remains a subject of intrigue. Unlike more familiar marine creatures, the oarfish exists on the periphery of human understanding, a reminder of the vast, uncharted territories that still exist on our planet. 
Its presence challenges us to confront the limits of our knowledge and to embrace the mysteries that make our world so endlessly fascinating. Environmental Implications The recent strandings of oarfish have raised pressing questions about the health of our oceans. As deep-sea creatures, oarfish are highly sensitive to changes in their environment. Their appearances near the surface or on beaches may signal broader ecological shifts, offering a glimpse into the complex dynamics at play beneath the waves. One potential factor behind these strandings is the impact of climate change. Rising ocean temperatures and shifting currents can disrupt the delicate balance of marine ecosystems, forcing deep-sea species, like the oarfish, to venture into unfamiliar territory. Pollution, too, plays a significant role, as chemical contaminants and plastic waste infiltrate even the most remote parts of the ocean. These stressors can weaken marine life, making them more susceptible to illness and disorientation. The strandings also highlight the importance of studying these rare events. Each oarfish that washes ashore provides a unique opportunity for scientists to gather data on deep-sea biodiversity, environmental health, and the effects of human activity on marine life. By examining the factors that contribute to these strandings, researchers can gain valuable insights into the state of our oceans and the challenges they face. The oarfish serves as a powerful symbol of the interconnectedness of all life on Earth. Its appearances remind us that the health of our oceans is intricately tied to the well-being of our planet as a whole. As we continue to explore and protect these fragile ecosystems, the oarfish stands as a testament to the wonders and vulnerabilities of the natural world. Through its enigmatic presence, it challenges us to rethink our relationship with the ocean and to take action to preserve its mysteries for future generations. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about the mysterious doomsday fish? Are their rare appearances purely coincidental? Or could there be truth to the legends linking them to natural disasters? Do the scientific explanations intrigue you? Or is it the eerie folklore that draws you in? Are they harbingers of doom or misunderstood deep-sea creatures? Share your thoughts, theories, or any experiences with ocean mysteries in the comments below.